We've got beer week, restaurant week, and now cider week for all the cider lovers out there or for anyone who just wants to try cider. It runs all week and John Barons from Farmhouse Cider is here to talk with us a little bit about what we can expect for the week. This is the third year for cider week. This is. We're super excited. It's been getting bigger and bigger every year. and We've got a lot of great and fun events in store this year. And you know, one of the reasons why we have such great cider here in Michigan is because we have great apples to make it with, right? Definitely. And one of the fun facts about cider uh, is actually Michigan's the third largest grower of apples in the entire country uh, and 60% of those apples come from within 10 miles of right here in Grand Rapids. I know and so many different flavors to choose from and the and how you're going to make your cider. Um, lots of tasty tap takeovers this week so tell us about those. Exactly there's uh, close to 50 different events going on uh, throughout Grand Rapids uh, this week from uh, tap takeovers, beer dinners, um, there's several bus tours mm -hmm. going to a lot of the different local cideries. Yeah. Uh, we've got one on Saturday that ends at our big festival. Yeah, I um, like so the fact that a lot of the local restaurants will try to pair something with each individual cider. Exactly, and it's kind of showing the diversity that's in cider. Mm -hmm. So cider's still kind of new to a lot of people. And a lot of people think, oh, it's a sugary, sweet, mm -hmm. apple drink. Um, that's really not the case uh, anymore. There's ciders that are completely sugar-free. There's wow. a huge diversity in cider, a lot of different ingredients. We do one that's got cucumbers in it, for Ooh, example. It's that like a sounds spot fun. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, so, well, more encouragement to try and go and try some of these different ciders that are out there. You've also got Glint Cap, which yeah. is known as Great Lakes International Cider and Perry um, Competition, world's largest one, taking place right here during Cider Week. Exactly. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there <laughs> is, it's, a, it's a fantastic uh, event. So it is the world's largest cider competition, as you said. Um, we'll have probably close to 1,600 entries wow. this year from around the world. We've got like 160 judges coming to town from around the world, um, all taking place right downtown Grand Rapids, and that's kind of what kickstarts a lot of the events this week. Wow, so in addition to just being able to go around and try different ciders, we're bringing in a lot of cash to Grand Rapids, a lot of people coming in to, Most to try Most definitely, it. Yeah. exactly, from all over the world. What are the bragging rights for winning this award? Uh, there's a lot that comes with it, um, there's, and there's several different categories within, within the competition as well. Uh, but I've been to even places in Germany, for example, and you, they hear of Grand Rapids, and that's the first thing wow. they say within the cider community there. Oh, that's where Glint Cap is. So it's within the cider industry. It's got it's got a lot of cachet. And that's something to brag about all in itself. Yeah. All right. You've got the festival that's going to take place at Rosa Parks Circle, right? Yeah. Um, that's coming up on Saturday? Saturday. Right. What yeah. all's happening there? So Saturday, uh, 1 to 5 p.m., Rosa Parks Circle. Uh, we'll have over 25 uh, Michigan cideries as well as other cideries uh, from around the U.S. and even some international, um, serving many of their, their best, best products, showing people that diversity of cider. Um, and tickets are available. They're fifteen dollars and includes uh, ten drink tickets with that. So. And then you also mentioned, you know, the um, trolley rides. Exactly. So there'll be a trolley ride that'll take you to an orchard. It'll take you to a cidery and it'll drop you off at the festival. So you, you can get see the, the full, full scope of it. Exactly. I love it. Lots of fun things going on this week during Cider Week. Of course, if you want to take part in any of it, I've got all the details and the ticket prices for you on 13onyourside.com.